being an engineer and having a maritime law degree helps you a lot not many people but those who are there they understand the intricacies of the machineries as well and so you would be in demand hi everyone jai hind jai bharat jai mata di welcome to another episode of c2 shore series isme captain rana is going to guide us with this guys uh, this co- the question for today is that sir if i am an operation level engineer say a fourth engineer or third engineer or junior engineer and i want to quit sailing but i don't want to be in core shipping i want to be related to shipping but not in core shipping what all options do i have so captain rana please guide us on this hey thanks for having me here pranit uh, and a very good question um, honestly a lot of persons um, you know they want to explore um, outside pure ship management right uh, but they also want to leverage their own experience they have already spent uh, 3 4 10 5 years in the shipping they say that we want to leverage it but they don't want to be in ship management so where they can go right um, so number one and uh, something which is very aspirational to a lot of persons is commercial shipping right in commercial shipping you are not in the ship management company or the ship operator company you can become a broker right so you can become a broker have the deals um, fix the vessels and uh, you know it is you start at a low salary but sky is the limit one of the most highest paying um, jobs uh, more one of the most highest incentives if there is anything in the probably in shipping or maybe in the world is into broking yeah a lot of money to be made uh, so you can either be a broker or you can also be on the charter side so which is if there is a, a company which has cargo you can become their marine manager you can fix vessels for them and and which is a little bit of a um, you know steady job it's not very very compelling it's not very uh, you know taxing but it's a very decent job so the number one is commercial shipping um number two is shipyards right Now again in shipyards you're not into ship management uh, but um you want to uh, you have interest in how a vessel is built you have an interest in repairing of the vessels um you have an interest in you know overall ship building uh, that's where you you can be and as uh, again uh, what we had discussed most opportunities outside india but if and when the tax structure and laws in india become more conducive to ship building you will have enough and more jobs coming regarding this in india as well right um third is your port operations right um so in port operations again um um what the industry requires is someone who understands you know ship right so who understands that you know if, if you tell the ship to move 20 meters behind or 20 meters ahead while it is at berth it's not easy right uh, it requires a lot of things but a non mariner may say move it 20 meters and what will happen right so so that's where you know someone who understands this someone who understands ship operations i think those are suited to take the next step which is get into the port side and do port operations uh, as well um, right then is maritime lawyer right and now this is someone for someone who is a little bit studious right someone who um, who, who who is very analytical someone who can um, make a very compelling argument um, someone who has attention to detail to those persons i would suggest maritime law and again being an engineer and having a maritime law degree helps you a lot not many people but those who are there they understand the intricacies of the machineries as well and so you would be in demand again when i say maritime lawyer i don't mean that you will practice law in the in the court of law right you would still be working with a sh- some kind of a maritime company not necessarily a shipping company but a maritime company to represent probably a shipping company um but not in court of law most of the uh, you know uh, claims are settled uh, through arbitration and then you will be you know involved over there right um then comes business development 
now you go to to speak you are a people's person you connect to you know every um, to people around and uh, you have the domain knowledge why not to you know uh, have, have that uh, your uh, skills have your passion work for you professionally and uh, you know you can uh, get into a good business development role as well so these are the roles which you can uh, take which are not into ship management and which are but which are associated in the maritime domain as such as sir my two cents on this <laughs> as always one of my juniors in college he is right now a big time he studied maritime law and he is a professor in basically teaching in a big world maritime university actually right now so he was telling in one of the videos which is there in the youtube channel out here satya sahu is telling that the biggest biggest in, biggest business in shipping is buying and selling of ships maybe 80 to 85% of business lies there around 10% in chartering and only where minimum 5% lies in ship management kada there was a company which bought and sold ships in a period of 3 years and increased the revenue by 3 times so so he was telling this thing him asli paisa hua hai sir what are you doing what are you thinking so when yeah. we talk about ship broking there was a smile on my face and definitely we'll making later more videos talking about ship broking and we'll be getting more people out there who are into ship broking to learn from their experiences what they are doing so thank you very much for all these options sir thank you very much let's jump on to the next video thank you hi guys jai hind jai bharat jai mata so you're a marine engineer who is thinking of transitioning from ship to shore there are a lot of options you have just seen one so if you want to do a whole detailed course where you can see sare options aapke samne in terms of course shipping what all options you have in terms of if if not course shipping outside course shipping what all options do you have outside complete shipping what all options do you have what a kind of skill set is expected from me what will be your salary this complete there is a complete free course made by us on merchant navy decoded website please go to the description box or in the comment section you will find that course which is helping today hundreds of seafarers marine engineers make well informed decisions in case you have got any query any problems you can just contact team merchant navy decoded and we'll help you jai hind jai bharat jai mata